<laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not, you know but, but like on the, on the real tip, like that's small stuff, but it's like big things, like two different opinions, the way both of y'all see life different, it all just comes in. And now you got to see everything on one page. So then it's a whole lot of sacrificing. In the honest part, you don't want to really sacrifice and give up all your stuff. And then she don't want to sacrifice and give up all hers. So it's just like a, a, a head clashing. button and a clashing mm-hmm. until you till you realize, like, we in this for the long haul. We love each other. We got to start sacrificing. And I and, and that's what we talk about a whole lot. We talked about that, like, buku times, even on a trip, like, that's our main focus. Like, we got to sacrifice. We got to be servers for each other. People are here that word servant. Mm-hmm. And we talked about this, what, two days in a row. We probably talked about it this morning. But this stuff is important to us. And this is how we made it 10 years. But people are here that, that word servant and look at it like, man, I, I ain't trying to serve nobody and be beneath nobody or below nobody. We can, like, the world will try to make it. Like that word is a bad thing, but that's what we supposed to be. Mm-hmm. We supposed to be servants, you know, to each other, to everybody. We supposed to be servants. We supposed to be able to help. Like, because all the qualities in a servant are good qualities. It, there's no bad qualities in a servant, but people are make it seem like it's a bad thing when you being a servant. Even when we doing lawn care, we go out and, hey, Miss Jones, what you need? Like, I want to help you. I want your yard looking the best. Do you need fertilizer? I want to put some fertilizer on it to make it green and lush. I want to put some uh, fresh pine straw or mulch and make it look real clean and neat, you know, and flip the straw. You want to take that pride in it, you know, and serve that person. And it's not always about money. The money going to come because you are doing a good deed. You know what I'm saying? You being a servant, so the money going to come regardless. That's just like last night. We ate at a place called Blue, Blue Moose. Moose. <laughs> Listen, Blue Paul, Moose burgers and Paul, wings. They, Paul, <laughs> they are good uh, Paul, in Tennessee. You like, you like hamburgers? Yes. Man, listen. Blue Moose got some good hamburgers in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Somebody come in on it and let Paul know if you done ate at the Blue Moose and Pigeon Ford. Paul, they good. But anyway, I told Devin last night, you know, this is our last night. We we eating out. We went to the Blue Moose. I said, I said, I just want a good server. Somebody mm-hmm. to take care of us or whatever. I wanted to tip good. Mm-hmm. But you're not going to be willing to give that money away if the if the service is not good. You know what I'm saying? You're going to kind of hold back a little bit. But if somebody is a good server, mm-hmm. a great servant, which is not a bad thing, but if somebody is a great servant, the money going to come later. Mm-hmm. And my point is when we go out on properties and we are great servants, that's when the money comes. But if we go out there just hustling and all we care about is the money, the money, the money, we don't care nothing that's about good. helping the person, the money ain't going to come. That's just like her. If all I'm in the relationship for is myself, I ain't going to get nothing good. I ain't no love coming out of that. I'm All I'm chasing is for me. We was even talking about it about 15 minutes here. She read a, a status or a post. We ain't going to get too much in that, but we just talk a lot about a lot of that stuff. But if I want her love, I got to serve her. Mm-hmm. You know, I got I got to do for her. And if she want my love, it's it's easier to gain that when you serving each other and you being a servant. And that goes all around in life, period. So that a lot of my take. How I know was I'm, the server at Blue Moose and how was the burger? Did you get a cheeseburger or hamburger? Or man, what? I got a, what was the name of bacon. that burger? You got the bacon. The you down, got the- down house, down home. I don't know. It was downtown. I don't know. It you was some, and wings. It was a double cheeseburger with. I shouldn't have <laughs> I, I, I just finished it this morning. That was my breakfast. Cold. Yeah, it was cold. I ate out. Don't do that. On everybody listening, baby. <laughs> I had cold wings. So. I'm from the hood. I'm from the hood, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna do yourself like that? <laughs> I, I, hey, I know not. She don't care about throwing me out there. She throw herself out there. <laughs> cold wings and cold burgers for breakfast. <laughs> That's gonna go a long way. Wait, Mr. Producer, don't take that one out now. She, she threw it out there. Keep it out there. But, uh, oh. man, I, I got a double cheeseburger with uh, bacon on it. <laughs> but it was big. It was, it was big. Huge. It was big, man. It was, it was good, man. That was, was a, man, listen, it had, it actually had, you know how you go to a lot of places, it was better than mugshots. 
I don't I, know Buckshot. Buffalo oh, Wild Wings. On, Better than Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't, I don't eat Buffalo Wild Wings. Burgers ain't that good. But I'm saying it was well, good, we ain't, though. This man ain't getting sponsored by Blue Moose. 